What up, guys? Mass Ninja here coming at you live and loud today. We are looking at the Mighty Morphing Power Rangers Retro Morphing Power Rangers. So, aka Hasbro take on the Automorphers. So, with that said, guys, theme song. guys so what we got here is a set of four rangers Jason the red ranger Zach the black ranger Billy the blue ranger And Kimberly the Pink Ranger. They're imitating the classic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers style. The way it contains four, the four power, power Rangers that I just listed. Combine the weapons to make the Power Blaster. There's no training in this line. I'm figuring that that's going to come with Wave 2 with the Green Ranger, White Ranger, and Tweeny. So it's kind of weird they're releasing four Rangers in the first wave and three in the second. Maybe, hopefully. I'm not sure, I mean, comparing to a, I actually do have a classic packaging. Packaging. Straight from the 90s. So, comparing to a classic packaging, you can definitely tell that they're trying for the classic look. So, with that said, let's go ahead and unbox these guys and see how they really look. Alright, so we got all the Rangers out of the packaging, and honestly, they look great together. This set's not that bad, I mean, honestly. The only downside is it is missing, missing the Yellow Ranger. But luckily for us, for this review purpose, I actually pulled out my classic Yellow Ranger and the Legacy Retro... Automorphin Green Ranger that I reviewed some time ago, so we're going to put, bring those guys in for size comparisons here in a second, but let's get the basic articulations. So, there's a little switch on the back, you hold it down, you automorph. It's a continuous morph, can't beat that, that's actually quite nice. Kind of re reference like the old Zeo and Turbo, where they, you don't have to reset, you just kept pressing the button and it flipped. So with that said, let's go ahead and talk about Billy since he's in my hand. The Billy scope, the head, eh, it's not too bad. It looks pretty decent. It's all around the helmet is good. Articulations, basic arm joints, 360 degrees. Elbow articulation, no wrists, but the elbow swivels. Knees are tight. Wow, those are some tight joints. Paint's a little sloppy on the bit on my belly, but you know what? Like right here on the boots, you can see there's some blue paint. Paint trying to one. His primary weapon is the power lance. You can clip the two pieces together. Have the power lance. Break it up. Boom. Two separate pieces. Comes with one standard blade blaster. Take that right in his holster, and Billy's all ready to go. Camp back, but has nice leg spread. You can do the splits. So, yeah, articulation wise. Ain't too bad. I ain't going to spend time articulating all of them because it's the base body on each one of them. But the heads I will talk about. Heads and weapons. Kimberly. Exact same deal. The head scope is not that bad. Whoops. We jammed up, guys. And her power bow. Just a basic, clean little power bow. Let's, come on camera, focus in. Clean basic power bowl, nothing too fancy. 
Like I said, this is a cheap $10 toy line, so it's not... You, you're getting what you pay for. It's $10, and honestly, it's not that bad so far. So we have Zack. Zack's scope, head scope, not that bad. I remember the Legacy Automorph was having a swivel for the civilian heads. Nope, one solid piece again. Oh well. And the Power Axe. Eh, not too bad, it's basic Power Axe. Nice little scope of the Mastodon right there on the side, if you guys can see that. If you can't, I do apologize. Let's light it. Give them the Blade Blasters as well. And let's talk about good old Jason himself. Let's go. Not that bad. Exact same type of articulation like everything else. The power sword. Not too bad little power sword. Nice little details craving on the inside. See the transformers. So all around, not that bad. I have them hold the weapons. So yeah, all around. With them holding the weapons, look fantastic. So let's go ahead and bring in some size comparisons. Let's go ahead and bring in the classic retro. My classic uh, retro automorph training. So we can have the yellow ranger in the lineup. And the legacy automorph green ranger. So, yes. And let's go ahead and bring in some. Other size comparisons. Let's go ahead and bring in Optimus Primal from our last t toy review we had on this channel. Like I was saying earlier about the art legacy line, the heads on this one do have the swivel. The classic comparing to articulation. Basic knee joint. Arm joint, arm peg. And one way morph. So yeah, that compares it to the classic line. And let's go ahead and bring in one more figure just for size comparison's sake. So let's go ahead and see how he stands up with the legacy, legacy figure. Let's go ahead and bring in Zack. So yeah, honestly, it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and talk about putting the weapons together. Alright, so, got the Power Blaster all put together. Honestly, side note, I did borrow the, the daggers from the Lightning Collection Yellow Ranger to complete the weapon properly. And using the, my, using the classic Yellow Ranger to fill in the team. For a stand until they properly release this fifth, the fifth Ranger. Before you can actually have the fourth set. But all around. They can hold the weapon just fine. The weapon stays together eh, somewhat decent. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. Looks very solid. It's a nice, decent little power blaster. Let's go ahead and compare it to a couple, a couple other power blasters. Alright, so let's talk about the power blaster itself. So, the... After combining them all together, let's go ahead and com compare them to some already complete Power Blasters. This one comes from the 5 inch Legacy line. I did a full review on these guys back in 2017, I want to say. And the current Lightning Collection set. Honestly? It's more or less just the bell minimum. Lack of color. Honestly, not that bad, but you get what you pay for. It's, these guys are $10 each. So yeah, the accessories are, well, one solid color. 
So let's go ahead and go back out to full view and do my final thoughts on these guys, shall we? So my final thoughts on the new retro automorph of Higgles. So the chest is thicker than the classic, but I don't know what to say. Honestly, the They'll make a great toy for the grateful kids. I would highly recommend them if you're looking to pick up a toy for for your kids. It's a nice boss of nostalgia, and honestly, it's kind of addicting to just push down the button, just watch the head flip back and forth. So my question is this: Does the classic retro dragon shield fit on these guys? Or are they too thick? Mama Truth, let's see how these stack up. Uh, yeah, the chest is a little too big. You can close it up, barely. But it's tacky. Yeah, it doesn't work with the dam, no. So this has been the Mask Ninja. Thanks for joining me for this video. And like I said, these are Walmart exclusive, I believe. So pick them up. Let's hope we get the final set. At least a Yellow Ranger in this set. Fingers crossed. This has been the Mask Ninja. Signing off until next time. Peace. God damn it.